Hi everybody, this is Linda from The Crafting Depot, and this is my second try trying to view, uh, record this video for you all. Okay, so today we're going to be making these really cute, adorable um, tags, but I'm going to be using different material. So I found this material at, I believe, Hobby Lobby on sale in the clearance section, so um, it's different. I liked it. And we're going to be making some tags. So what you'll need is material of your choice. Um, you can use uh, book sheets from old vintage books. I'm choosing to use music paper right now. Um, some coffee dyed paper. And I have a lot of cardstock, so I'm using it. But you can also use the back, uh, not the back, you can use um, cereal boxes. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> So um, I already pre-cut out some rectangles, so they are about four and a half by two and a half, but you can make them any size you want. So to get the corners, what I do is I just snip off one side, I turn it over, and I snip the other side. So now I have one corner. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. <clears throat> I'm not going to do mass production on on line. I'm just going to show you how to do. I'm demonstrating how to do one of them. So here, here are my cutouts to get started. So the next thing you want to do is lay out your material. So lay it out upside down, and because you know this has a top and a bottom of the Eiffel Tower, you want to make sure that your material is laid out properly so I'm going to use let me get my glasses on scotch permanent glue stick which was recommended by Pam from the paper outpost and of course I picked one that's almost empty let's see if this one has any glue okay this one has glue <clears throat> so I'm going to just glue around one side and we're going to adhere that nicely. Glue another one. And I gotta fix that other one because it's crooked. <clears throat> okay, there's one. Let's fix this. Put more glue on it. over and put it down like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut out and cover the glue. I'm going to cut these out. <clears throat> have two for demonstration purposes they're really nice I like the material and we'll move that to the side so I'm going to go to the machine this is what happened I pre-recorded this already and my machine knocked into my camera so I'm going to turn this off I'm not turn it off I'm going to pause and I'll be right back I'm going to sew all I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to sew all around be right back okay back so I sewed on this side all the way around and we now have this. Now we could stop here, but I want to add some um, music paper. So I'm putting my tuck, I folded the paper so that the plain side isn't showing. That's going to be underneath my tuck. I'm going to put this in, it's going to be like, like that, and I'm going to turn it over, and I just want to show, some of it, can you see me, and then I'm going to go at an angle, okay, let me see, <clears throat> and 
do that right. So it's going to come out like that. So I'm going to fix it and make this straighter. So the next thing I'm going to do is with the sewing machine, I'm going to line it up like this. I'm going to turn it. No, I'm going to sew on this side so I see what I'm sewing. And I'm going to sew up, across, down, and down. And then the bottom, I'm going to sew also. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So I sewed, let me move this machine. This is what happened before. I knocked into the camera, so I have to be very careful. So now I have my music sheet here, tight, um, sewed on, you can see the other, the back. So I sewed it from the front so I could see and make sure that I got around it. And sewing is really simple, guys. It's not that hard. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is just add um, a piece of this snippet that I made, which is a collage of different papers that were glued onto the back of a bed sheet. And then as you can see, I sewed it all together. First I glued it and then I sewed it. So I'm going to take a piece of it, just a little piece. I'm gonna cut it off, I'm gonna shorten it down. And let's get rid of these pieces. <clears throat> and I'm going to just glue it on like that. So let's get the glue. Oh, got the wrong glue stick again. Okay, here we go. So we're going to use the permanent um, scotch glue stick and because I'm sewing I'm going to use the glue stick so I'm just using it to give it a little tackiness while I'm gluing well, uh, while I'm sewing rather so let's see if I can bring the machine over here without losing you guys I don't want to do this again so here we go bringing the machine over Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to sew it from the top. And I'm going to turn it. Okay, so now we're up to this and we're almost done so the next thing I want to do is put some coffee dyed paper on the back I'll find my coffee okay so here's a piece of coffee dyed paper let's get all our strings off okay all strings are off so the next thing I'm going to do is glue this to the paper. Okay, glue stick. And again, we're going to use the Scotch permanent glue stick. We're going to tape on, uh, not tape, adhere glue on this side so it sticks to the paper while we're sewing. And we're going to adhere that down. Then we're going to bring our machine back. Well, what I'm going to do is cut this out so that it's not snagging underneath the machine while I'm sewing. Okay, so there's room to turn this around. Okay, bringing the camera, bringing the machine back. Okay, and now we're going to sew 
on the top side because if we flip it over we're not going to see where the tab begins and ends so we're going to sew on the front so you put your needle in first you step on the pedal go forward turn it turn it So now we have, should have everything, okay, now let's move the, oops, we almost did it again. Okay, so now we have our backing, and we're going to trim off the threads. These are really great scissors I got at Hobby Lobby, and Pam uh, talks about these, they're great. Okay, so then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off the extra material. Okay, and then down here you want to be careful that you don't cut into the music paper. So I just tilt it back and now you have your finished edge. So the next thing I want to do is put my little tab on the top so I can pull it out easily. So I have this leftover material and I'm just going to cut a piece of it off and I'm going to just sew it on so you can staple it on you can sew it on all right so let's be careful again moving the sewing machine forward and we're just going to go back and forth so i'm going to push this under put my foot down push the needle in press on the little pedal underneath press the lever to go back okay let's push that in press on the lever to go back done super simple and then we're going to cut that off we're going to move this back we are still video recording and i'm going to snip off the little um extra threads there's one more rid of this okay now that looks really nice but we want to finish it off and give it some dimensions so I'm going to take out my dauber and I'm going to use ground espresso distressing brown espresso uh, ground espresso I got this at Hobby Lobby okay so what we're going to do here is we're just going to go around And it just gives it some texture, makes it look more vintage. And how cute is that? So I have a, where did I put it? Somewhere. Hold on one second. So just for demonstration purposes, I have one of my first, which way is it going? Let's see. I'm not super proud of this. 
but we're going to use it just for demonstration purposes. My first um, journal. And we're going to stick it in this two pocket folder. And I just want to show you how easy it is to pull it out with the tab. So these two pocket folders, I um, envelopes rather, I learned how to do this from Pam at the Paper Outpost, and they're really cute. I have them, I have a video somewhere back in my um, YouTube channel showing how to do this, but they're really cute. So that's how you make these really adorable um, uh, tabs. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you'd like to see more of what I'm doing, just subscribe, follow, and hit the bell. I hope you all have a great day. And thank you for watching.